Hello YouTube, the birds are singing. Beautiful day, 57 dew point. And the temperature is already about 77 degrees. Uh, I can't tell you what time of the morning it is. It's not noon yet, but it's going to get nasty. There could be thunderstorms. Today is a Thursday, whatever the date is. Uh, but it's supposed to be raining tonight. Thunderstorms. We're going to do the carburetor on this. Uh, we're not going to show you taking off. This is a Honda clone. If I found a sticker down here, it's, this was made by Life Ant. Can you read it? This was considered the original Honda clone. Greyhound. In case I forget to take pictures. This is when Harbor Freight sold these. They were that blue purple color. See it? I painted it black so it would fit better on here. The color scheme. Yeah, we'll just show you the carburetor take apart what it looks like when we get to the desk. We are going to start this. Let me pause, get ready, we're going to start it and show you what it runs like. It's been running yesterday, but it's still going to be just as nasty. You'll be able to tell. Uh, here's choke on, here's choke off, so you see me playing with that. So let's turn on the gas. We're not even going to pause, just hit it. Here we go. Okay, if I still have some pops and misses, it's going to be spark plug, then adjust the valves. I have listened to the valves and put my hand on the valve cover. There's nothing that I can tell that's really rattling bad. It'd really be popping if the valves are way off. So, I'll have to take this off. We're going to do the carb first. I got to plug the gas line on this because this shutoff is down in here. Little baby hose clamp. So, it has a built in shutoff, which you'll see. It's kind of like the old motorcycles on the gas tank. So, Stay tuned, that's three minutes already into this thing, and I only want it to be a one-part video. Okay, just a real quick look at the carb. We used Awesome Cleaner in this brush, and this brush got down everywhere. I do have a pick if you got to get but it's just cheap cleaning brushes from any of them dollar stores anywhere. Okay, if you take this screw out and pull this up, there's going to be a low-speed jet you can enlarge. Let me take my glasses off. Like I said, see this Japan? This is not a Predator. This is a Greyhound. It was the Honda clone. I'll bet my money on it. Life and Corporation. Look it up on YouTube. Anyway, here's your fuel shut off. It's got a thing with four holes. You'll be seeing it. Kind of like a shop motorcycle. When I first bought this engine, I had this out twice. The first day it was on the tractor because it wasn't getting any fuel. <laughs> I wasn't going to take the engine back. It was, they only had two left. Anyway, uh... On with the story. This has been ours since 2011, that engine has. So we've run it eight years. So here we go. Let's talk more work. Let's get this part. We'll see how dirty it looks inside. Okay, well, let's go freehanded here. See that little globules of junk? That's it. And there is a little bit here and there. Uh, the tank has a screen, there's no filter on it. I looked at a filter at the parts store, the little red ones with a screen. It's not going to filter out anything. The other filters are for ones with a fuel pump, I know that. If they're plastic with a cart paper cartridge, you got to have pressure to go through them. That's just my opinion. There you go. I'm going to take it apart a little more and see what we find. Stay tuned. A quick tip. See that spring on there? Here's how the float goes on. See how it slides in a notch? Just for my reference. And it sets about right there. I pulled up real carefully. 
So there you go on that. Little another little see more for your money. Say big money. No, stop that. Okay, look up to the top. See where I scratched up the scratch all down in there? See that? That was a spot of rust. It said I was getting gas at a place that was supposed to have regular, and we believe it was ethanol in it. I think you can see it. That little silver where it's been scratched down. See it? That was rust. That's where that globby brown junk was. Okay, back to the show. I mean, back to the work. Okay, this is for the people who've never done this. Pry this cap out of here. Then you put your felt screwdriver in there. I counted the turns what it took to get it all the way out. It's not critical, but it sets your idle. This pulls up out of there. And then this pulls out right here, your jet. And we'll show you that here in a second in the next clip. So like I said, they had a cap on there. It's like, how am I going to get this out? It was glued on there. See that? Okay. These little clips are going to help. It's going to cut down on the length of the video. Okay, I cannot see through this. We're holding up the light. I cannot see through this. This low speed jet. I can't see through it. So, we're going to get a clean piece of cloth or whatever. And we're going to see what comes out of this thing. We're going to use a sewing needle first. Stay tuned. Sorry about the shaky cam without a... Okay, retake. I can't see through this. I first had filmed. I can't see through it. No, you won't see through there. That's just where I hold it. You will have the jet and see the side holes. But if I shine a flashlight anywhere, you cannot see through that jet. I have a sewing needle out here. It will not fit. We're going to put a little spray. So, I hope I don't add all these clips. If I do, I apologize if I add the mistake clip in here. These 30 second ones are going to kill me when I go to put it put all these together to make this film there get in focus yeah you won't see up through the top that's where it holds it in that's all closed there's your jet well sewing needle won't go through and there's no light coming through it there there's a problem we have a problem here can you see that we can see through it boy it's nice to have the LED flyer so I need a smaller one now we can see through it. See, we're shining through the two side holes. Yeah. Said, there's no hole down this way. That's all solid. It was plugged. I took carburetor cleaner. I don't think we can enlarge it. It's such a small hole, but we're going to go through our drill bits. The sewing needle barely fits in there, and you know how small that is. So stay tuned. We'll let you know what happens. Focus. Okay, you have to trust me on this one if you can't see it. The tip of the sewing needle just starting to come out of there. I'm not forcing it anymore. Or it was. Maybe I need to shut up. I did have it. Said I don't have a drill bit that small. There you go. I said these clips are worth it. They just don't break off a sewing needle. A uh, straight pin like you use when you're hemming up something to sew with the heads on it. They made the, a sewing unit will snap. It's hard. It will snap on you and break off. Don't use them to clean the uh, windshield wiper squirters on a car and break it off. Now, I've ruined them squirters before when I was a kid. Okay, back to work. This is the, one of the main problems. That's why we're showing more of it in the video. Okay, hard to print. This is your fuel shut off. I can't show you in detail to take it apart. That rubber thing goes in there first. You got two holes, spare holes there on it. It's already been switched. See how distorted they are? But if it has problems, we'll put a manual shut off. Look at a crud in there, and there's an O-ring in there. See it? It's kind of a tapered O-ring. It's not a regular O-ring. You could probably get away with it. See all the sludge in there? Now, the old Honda I had had a sediment bowl on here. The Honda 8 horse. If you want to watch that video, you can find it if you dig for it. But I hit a sediment bowl. It took forever to get off there. So, it was a little bit different. But there you go. That was the problem when I first got this. That one of these holes is probably this distorted one here in the bottom right corner. The fuel didn't shut off right. I didn't let the fuel in. So, we're going to take some carb cleaner after we get that O-ring out of there. Uh, we started spraying. We run back here and panic. Like, oh no, that stuff I'm using, that chemtrol stuff will eat rubber. I'll show you a picture of the can in this video. Stay tuned. 
Okay, correction, there is no O-ring. That's just black scum in there. We'll keep cleaning it. Here's the stuff I'm using. This stuff will eat plastic. Don't let anybody tell you any different. It will eat plastic. It will eat O-rings. It's nasty. That's why I can't have it last me forever. There you go. I corrected that. I thought it was. I'm thinking of a different style of carburetor. That's all that goes in there. I may show you when this goes. That goes in there. This goes in there. Uh, you see it's got a little slot. See that? The wavy washer goes on top. Spring washer. Then the lid goes on. Two screws. There you go. I think you could figure it out if you took one of these apart. Stay tuned. I'm taking a break. Oh, deep breath. Hold it. Take a deep breath. Take a break. And clean it up a little bit more. And yes, the main jet is plugged with some goo. We'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, can you see any of the shavings? We went one size bigger than what the hole was. And that's it. We do not want this thing over fuel. But we do put a pretty good load on that tractor. It was plugged. It was plugged with a little bit of white. The calcium crap. And... It had a little bit of that brown goo in there, like a, that little brown gooey stuff in there before I blew it out with the carburetor cleaner. So there was a little bitty hunk stuck up in there. So uh, it was plugged partly. So back to the show. We're almost done with this thing. Okay, quick important clip on the idle circuit. I showed it when I worked them on. To see them little three holes? Make sure you spray that. See that? It's a little brass needle sticking in there. Well, if it was my old Honda 8 horse, you'd be able to adjust it. You just had to grind the limiter cap off. See that? They adjust that and snap it off. So if you want to get brave, that's up to you. You can get that out of there somehow or dremel a slot in there. I'm not going to. But there you go. We get the flashlight in here just make it even better. See that? That's the needle sticking there. But those three holes makes you spray down in there. If you could bend a little piece of wire or something, or maybe like a straight pin, because they'll bend. And like I said, sewing needle won't. Make sure to clean them. Do not enlarge them. I am not going to mess that. I sprayed this really good from this side with the carburetor cleaner. So, there you go. Quick tip of the day. Okay, ready to take a break. Put it on. I put my float drain over here, because this is how it goes on the engine. So naturally I wanted my float off to the stud, float drain off there. There you go. The, some of the stuff I showed before, that's how you all take out to get that jet out. And make sure you clear all these passages, like see these jets? You can run a fine wire, spray it, spray everything like that. Uh, so I recommend taking this out, don't get no carburetor cleaner on that, carbur carburetor cleaner on that rubber thing. Why do I talk like that? It must be all the TV shows I watch. People in the Midwest don't necessarily have an accent. It just depends on what you, who you hang around. There you go. I blame it on them YouTubers I watch. There you go. We'll put the blame somewhere. Stay tuned. a lot faster idle and it's smooth gas off each time put the choke on man if I get that Honda 8 horse to run like that I need to do some mod on it to both jets thanks for watching 
Now let's crank it over one time, one more time here. Let's just hit the key real quick, just real. Not bragging, my Ford will start like this. Just a little click of the key. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This was not fun, it's hot out.